Now let's talk about string stream. The concept of string stream is often confusing to beginners. String stream is a stream that doesn't have I.O. channels. It doesn't do I.O. operations. What kind of stream is that? It is a stream that does read and write of string. In other words, it can write data into a string and read data from a string. So it is treating a string like treating a file. Why do we want to do that? The main purpose is to reuse the formatting function of a stream to processing a string. So it is a matter of code reuse. But you can also think of it as a offline data formatting either before sending the data for output or after reading the data from input. For example, we can do ss89 and then hex and then hex 89 oct and oct 89 and then we print out ss.stream this will print out 89 the first 89 and then hex 59 and then oct 131 so this is how we format a string with a string stream now let's say int a, b, c, and we also have a string s1, and then do ss hex a. So this will read the first word and parse it as a hex number and then save to a. This is a formatted input. And formatted input works token by token and tokens are separated by spaces tabs and new lines so the first token it will see is 89 and it will be passed as a hexadecimal number and saved to a so in the end a will equal to 137 and then we do ss S1, then S1 will contain hex. So this is a second token separated from the first token with some spaces. And this second token is interpreted as a string. SS decimal B. It will pass the next token, which is this one and it will be passed as a decimal number and save it to B. So B will be equal to 59. And then we can do ss.ignore 6. We'll ignore the next six characters in the string. So basically this part will be ignored. and then do ss oct c will pass next token which is this one and pass it as an octal number so c will be equal to 89 so as you see string stream provides a powerful way for you to format a string as well as to extract information from a string Lastly, there are two other classes called OStringStream and iStringStream. OStringStream can only be used for formatted output, and iStringStream can only be used for formatted input. So if you need to use a string for both input and output, you should use StringStream. Otherwise, you should prefer using either OStringStream or iStringStream. Because they are not only providing better type safety, they are also better at communicating the intent of your code. They make your code more readable, which is a very important thing. Thank you for watching. 
Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. See you next time.